Okay, I do believe we are recording. I'm Kelly Renee. You're on Sharing Our Shine. And I've got a unbagging for you. We're going to do this a little differently today. Let me apologize first and foremost for my voice. I've been sick for about a week now. And I haven't done any videos because of it. I still sound pretty bad, but I feel a little bit better. I feel like I could actually get a video in. And generally I do, um, when I do an unbagging or a Timu haul, it's like one purchase at a time. Yeah, not this time. I'm going to do what I'm going to call in the, um, in the description of, of this video, a Timu train. I've got four, is it four? One, two, three, I think it's four. I'm going to do four hauls in one video. And I'm going to call it a Timu train. So you'll see that language in the description of this video. And we're going to call each bag a box car. But since we're unbagging, I'm going to call it the unbox car. Um, so this is unbox car number one. This is number one. And we're just going to go through. I'm going to try to manage the time well. We'll see how I do. Um, and before I fully get started with this, again, I'm sorry, I'm on cold med, so my thought process is a little bit wonky. Um, I wanted to thank everyone. This channel is just over three months old, and we've just passed the 500 subscriber mark. So I will be doing a giveaway soon to celebrate that milestone, and thank you to all the subscribers. Welcome to all the new subscribers. This is a huge milestone for me. Um, I'm not trying to compare my channel to other channels. I'm just trying to embrace the milestones as I reach them, and this was a huge one for me. So thank you to everyone for your support, your continued support, and you're taking a risk, and adding me to your subscriber list in the hopes that you will continue to enjoy the content. So, I've got some other um, different types of videos planned, but one of the things that I really want to do, I really want to get to um, the very next Deja View video. I've only done one, and I really enjoy doing it. But because I have all these Timu hauls just kind of laying around, I really got to get caught up with that and kind of put that aside for a while. Go on a little bit of a no-buy and start doing a little bit more of a reveal and react to some of the premiums I have and start working with <coughs> the budget canvases I have, some DIY stuff. I want to kind of get into that, but I really feel compelled to get through all of these hauls. So... Sorry for the preamble. This this is hopefully not going to continue with each unbox car video. So this is unbox car number one. So let's go ahead and get started. And I will do my very best to try to minimize the coughing and the nose blowing and the usual stuff that comes with having cold and flu. Mm. Got my coffee. Nice and warm. So let's go ahead and get started. That one's in an envelope all by itself. So I'm just going to grab and go. I'm not going to spend a tremendous amount of time on each one. Um, but hopefully I spend enough time on each one. And I'm going to do my best to try to get the item numbers and all that. Um, available for you uh, for each one of these um, unbaggings. So, yeah, train game, very appropriate because you know I love my train game. This is fun. I saw this, and I'm sure if you're shopping Timu, you saw, you've seen this too. <coughs> <coughs> Apologies. Um, this is 20 colors, it's alpha. It's in no particular order, and it looks like a good time. Again, I've been wanting to experiment with some monochromes, and I bought a zombie girl. She was mostly in green, and I came across her the other day, 
And I'm still not crazy about it. It has not grown on me. Just let's not get it twisted. Um, it's still in my organizing book. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I'm not crazy about it. And someone said that they, I believe, I read somewhere that someone did do it. And it turned out well. This one I like a lot better. This is black and white. It's got some red down here. I like the imagery. It's not spooky. It's more creepy. And I can deal with that. Let's take a look at the drill field. It's readable. Um, it's, a, it's a little hit and miss in some spots. But just a very fun painting. I'm going sideways, and you guys know I hate sideways. I hate when I see it, so I, I'm not crazy about doing it. But I at least want to get it in there. So this is Creepy Girl. We're just going to call her Creepy Girl. And I'm going to write it right here. I'm going to write Creepy Girl. We'll call her Creepy Girl. Good stick, readable, black and white, monochrome. Oh, this is not going to be an interesting color pack to see. Mostly dark, some light. There's a pink right there. And as you can see, pretty typical. Some dark grays. 20 colors. There's a purple right there. Not much to see in the way of that color palette. No surprises. 20 colors. This is a keeper for me. Yeah, this is a keeper. I think I'm going to enjoy that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, go ahead and pause the video, put this away, and grab the next. Okay. Uh, no time to you, but that took a few minutes. I had to do some uh, colds and flu housekeeping here. Okay, this is... Canvas number two and unbox card number one. Yeah, that's clever. Oh, she's so cute. Look how cute she is. Look how cute. She is 19 colors, 30 by 40. It's all alpha. Train game for the drills. I'm in my happy place already. Very appropriate for the type of video I'm doing. And I came up with the Timu tray, guys. Let me just be honest about it. I'm on cold and flu meds. So my thought process is a little bit on the campy side. But, hey, doesn't matter what we call it, right? Oh, she's adorable. Look how cute. Now, I'm going to have to... When I get to the deja vu of it all... <coughs> when I do her canvas, I'm going to have to do a little bit of a color study here. I don't want to take the time and do it for this video, but I'm not seeing any odd colors. I think this is going to be a winner. I'm looking at the colors here. Okay, let me just check the stick. 19 colors, alpha, no particular order. Okay. Hmm... This glue is good. Yeah, it's good. It's decent. It'll get the job done. She looks like she's a candy and candy and cloud girl. That's what I'm calling her. The candy and cloud girl. Let me bring this up a little closer for you to see. Look at her. Oh, that looks like it's going to be fun. Let's see how readable it is. Um, yeah, it's readable. Now look at these colors. You see the colors? Let's see. Hopefully it'll focus. Oh, come on. Please focus. Let's see. Okay, maybe it'll, maybe I just can't see. Maybe it is in focus. But I wanted to show you those browns. 
Let's see if we can turn that over. Maybe it'll not get confused about what we're looking at. These colors look promising for a brown girl skin tone. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not disappointed in these color choices. No, I'm not disappointed. I see it even a really dark. Is that a dark gray or a dark truck? I'm very happy with these colors. I think this is going to turn out well. And again, I will do my best with each one of these videos. And it's probably going to be four or five parts. Uh, because I have so many to go through. Uh, to put the item numbers and let you know how to get these if you're interested. I will do my best. But there you go. I'm calling her Candy and Clown Girl. Uh, Candy and Cloud Girl. And I'm sorry for the sideways, but there she is. I really like her. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a pause and bring out next. And we'll just keep it moving. Okay, number three on deck here. 30 by 40. And I don't know how old this... This is probably a month old, to be honest with you. And I kind of feel bad about that because it's hard enough trying to get your hands on some of these Timu paintings. Um, and you want to kind of do it like timely so that while they're still available, you know, so on and so forth. But here's the thing. I could do it the day after I receive it and they're already gone. So there's like no winning here. This is another. Oh yeah, so I got the brown girl and the Caucasian girl at the same time. The same type of vibe. Now she has the, she has the, she's a cupcake girl. But she's got cupcakes or ice cream cones just general you know those things um 20 colors all alpha no particular order 30 by 40 and i like her too i like the vibe of this on both of the girls I don't, I must have, well, I saw them in the same shopping trip. I don't know if I saw them on the same page or it was a selection. I don't recall that. So let's take a look at, um, this one, is, how readable is this one? This one's giving me a different vibe. No, it's readable. Over here is a little... No, it's readable. It's a little bit of trouble reading these here without that light being right up on top of it. Oops, sorry about that. I hit the uh, camera. Let me go into this area here. It's a little dark area. Uh, yeah, that's readable. Yeah, she's kind of the... She's a cupcake and candy girl. And I call them something when I go to um, Cupcake and Candy Girl. And to me, these are like cupcakes, but they could be something else. Let's take a look at the drills. I'm not seeing any colors that are giving me pause now. I do see some colors that look good for skin tones, for Caucasian skin tones here. I am seeing some peachy and some orangey, but that should be okay if it's not too off the wall the way they um, use them for shading. Hopefully not, but I'm pleased with that. Drain game. love these heat seals. They are my absolute favorite, and that's her sideways and I apologize in advance because I hate sideways but sometimes it's best to see it all in one but there you go straight up and that's her that looks like fun doesn't it I, I'm, re I'm really happy I'm happy with this one yeah I'm happy with the colors now the stick on the other one yeah this is about the same it's good I've seen better, and I've seen a whole lot worse. This is good. This is good stick. 
This should be fine. The rendering's really good. It's readable. 20 colors, train game. It's This is a keeper. A total keeper for me. Okay, I'll pause to get the next. Okay, here we go. The next one. And I have started to... I think I have to purchase a couple of more. I gotta see my other Timu hauls if I purchase some more organizing books. I got three of them started now on the thirty on the A3 size. And I'm really starting to pull them together now. And I really want to spend more time working out of them rather than doing opening up new canvases. So this is for my Wild Kingdom. Um, does it get cuter than that for a pig? Yeah, I don't think so. 20 colors. 1 is 1, 2 is 2, all the way up to 8 is 8, 9 is A. So it's alphanumeric, and it is all in order. Um, this is a 30 by 40, so it's going to be 40 by 30 this way. I like the shading on this pig. I even don't mind the background. Even though, don't be surprised if I do something about that. But it's a simple image. The pig was very much in the foreground. And it doesn't have a whole lot of uh, busyness in the background. So when, when you're shopping for these kind of paintings, this is kind of what you're looking for. What's the focal point of the image? How big is the canvas? Am I going to get the detail that I see in the picture? Based on that, how complicated is the background? What detail am I going to give up for this size? <coughs> After a while, you do get a fill for the different sizes. And I do like the colors on this. The pink, the blue, the simple flower in the mouth, the, the white. Yeah, I think this is going to be quite promising on the colors. This, this is going to be my wild kingdom. I even thought about, let me see if I can get that in there, doing, well, you know I'm going to do the wild kingdom, but should that be more like jungle animals and should, do I need like a farm? Should I get a smaller book and just like divide my animals? From the wild to the more uh, domesticated and farm-like? I don't know. I might do that. I just said it out loud, so now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I like the colors. I love the image. Let's see how readable it is. Yeah, that's readable. That's well printed. I think it's well rendered. I like the shading. Look at the ear. You see that ear and all that shading in there? Look at the eye. The same thing. The mouth. I think this is going to really turn out really well. Love all that shading. Yeah. Yeah. How's the stick on here? Oh, that's nice. That's really good stick. Only 20 colors. Train game. Very well rendered. Readable. This is a keeper. Total keeper. So far, I've liked all my choices in this box car or unbox car number one video. Okay, I'm going to wrap this one up and go ahead and get the next. Okay, this is the next one I grabbed. And I just off the top of my head, look at that thumbnail. Hopefully, you can see that this canvas is going to be an epic fail. I think this is going to be an absolute epic fail. Look at that. It's absolutely terrible. I don't even know what I was thinking. On this size of a canvas, 8x8 with all that detail, this is an example of don't buy. Epic, epic fail. This is not, I'm not going to DIY anything with this. I'm not going to try to recover it. I could either send it back or keep it for the drills and literally, and I mean literally, throw this in the garbage. That's how bad this is. This is an example of a detailed image on a canvas that is way too small. 
because it is so small, hopefully I didn't spend more than two, three dollars on it. But total epic fail. Um, I'll consider what um, colors are in here. 167, 310. See if I need any of these colors in my spare drill. And if I do, I'll keep the canvas just for the drills to add them to my spares. And if I don't, I don't know how much of a pain it would be to send it back. But for $2, I might just chalk it up and keep it. Just for the drills, whether I need them or not. But I will not be doing anything with this short of throwing it in the garbage. That's what it's worth. So, epic fail. And these are common enough colors that I can add to my spares, the rounds. So that, that's the value in this. And of course these, you know, have no value. So that's where we are with that one. I'm not even going to examine it beyond just saying that's that. Don't buy. You see complexity, you see a small size equals do not buy. Okay, I'll move on to the next one. Okay, move on to the next one. Now, I did the brown girl with the candy, the candy and cloud girl, and then I did the cupcake girl. The candy and cupcake girl. This is another one in that series. I must have been really enamored. Okay, how do I open it? I had to have been really enamored when I saw these on Timu. And because I've got this other one. Okay, which one is this? Again, I'm very happy with these. Okay, she has like, um, is that like cherries and orange slices? She's like, almost like has a great big, I don't know, like this, this looks like whipped cream or meringue and then she has all this fruit in her hair. I like her look. I like her profile. Train game going on. She is also 20 colors. All alpha, no particular order. 30 by 40. Um, so I'm going to call her, she's almost like a, a fruit cup girl. Because I think that's all fruit. That looks like strawberries down here. I'll call her the fruit cup girl. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what your what your thoughts are about these three girls. Nice stick on that one. 20 colors, like I said. Good stick. Let's see how readable she is. Oh, that looks a little tough. I can't even see it now. It looks like an S. Is there an S? Yeah, number six. That's an S. That's really hard to see. Okay, let me look at everything else here. Um, it's readable everywhere else, it appears. And I don't see a whole lot of those S's. So if I was doing, yeah, here's some more of those S's right here. I would do those S's, get those S's out of the way and call it a job done. Because those are hard to read. But that's the overall image. I'm very happy with her. Do I have to go sideways? Oh, so sorry. Some of you don't mind sideways. I mind sideways. But you can see the whole image and then go here. I'm really happy with that. Oops, where am I? There I am. Yeah, Kelly Renee still can't find the camera lens. And that has nothing to do with the cold and flu that I'm dealing with right now. It's just me. It goes with my non-existent sense of direction. Yeah, I like the colors. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with this. Great stick readability. A couple of little um, problems over there on that particular one, but you can get through that. There's a couple of S's in her eyes. Not too bad. Just that one that one um, value that's kind of hard to read. But other than that, this is the total keeper along with the other two. 
I, yeah, I'm quite pleased. Let me go ahead and pause the video and get the next. I've lost count of where we are, but this is the very next one. It might be one, two, three, four, five. This might be six. Six or seven. I don't know. But we're good on time. 30 by 40. Oh! Did I see this on Bewitch Cat? Uh, I don't know if I did, but I was intrigued by her. She just looks so edgy. Oh, I got baggies. Boo! I want my train game. Hey, how many colors on this? 18? Yeah, I can do the baggy, my baggy caddy when I do this one. Only 18 colors? Yeah, that'll work. Oh, she, yeah, she's really edgy. 18 colors. One is one, two is two, all the way down to eight is eight, nine is letter A, ten is letter C. So alphanumeric in order. Let me go ahead and flatten this out. Yeah, she's edgy. I wanted to try something a little bit edgy. Normally this would not be my aesthetic, but every once in a while, like, you know, when I started coming into the budget world, I got to really exercise and step out of my usual comfort zone because of the pricing. I could try some different things artistically. And this is something I wanted to try, something a little bit more edgy. And this is what I went with. Oh, yeah. Okay, here are the colors. Ooh, love that strong green pop. Some blue. There's some darks. Oh, yeah, very, very colorful, readable. Oh, I'm happy with these color choices. Not happy with the baggies, but I can do baggies now. I I did um, my um, Harley Quinn. She's a clown. Um, and I forget how many colors it was. 20-something. Anyway, I did that out of the baggy caddy. So I kind of revisited it, and it wasn't so bad at all. 18 colors, yeah. I can totally do that. Let's see how readable she is. Confetti all over the place. Not unexpected. But she is readable. Nice and small. Total round. Yeah, I think this will be fun to do. Let me see the stick on this. Yeah, very good. I don't know if it's double-sided or poured glue. It feels like it's poured glue. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the color choices, 18 colors. It's a keeper for me. This is a total keeper for me. Let me know what you guys think, but, yeah, she's different. She's different. Okay. I think we've explored that one. I'm going to pause the video and go for the next. Okay. This is the smaller. This is a 30 by 30. And then after this we have um, one, two, three, four more. So this is probably going to be a 40 minute video or so. Hmm. I thought this was cute when I picked it out. Um, this is the usual boat. Um, it is readable. The rendering isn't great. Let me show you the thumbnail. Just hopefully you can see that. A chicken pouring coffee. Um, I liked it because I like chickens and roosters. This is 23 colors. It is one through one, one is two, two. So it's alphanumeric and it is in order. Um, I'm not crazy about the rendering. Let me just look at the, um, how readable is this? Oh, this is going to be tough. Right up here. Up here. Oh, forgive my nails. Good grief. Yeah, I've been sick. They're all chipped and, ugh. Sorry about that, guys. I don't think I have any good nails left. And I didn't bother to do my nails prior to this video. So they're chipped. So, apologies. 
but a lot of confetti. Yeah, up in here. That's kind of hard. I mean, it's readable. Light pad time. And this is kind of hard to read in here. Like here. So this isn't great. On a scale of 1 to 5, I give this one a 2.5 as far as the quality. But I do like the image. And I think, you know, I, I'd be willing to suffer through it. It's only a 30 by 30. 23 colors. I can see that in kind of a wooden frame. You know, an unpainted wooden frame or a stained wooden frame. And a country kitchen. Just kind of off to the side. I, I like it. I'm just not super happy about it. I think it could be a lot better. It's readable, but drain game. Uh, let's see what colors we have here. Uh, okay. Nothing. I mean, it's colorful. It's colorful. It's not dark. Yeah, I yeah, I'm happy with the color choices. I'm just not happy with the quality of this. Yeah, thankfully it's only a 30 by 30 and I can make it work. So I'm going to hang on to it. Put it in my everyday life um organizer and hmm yeah, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I think it's too cute. But I wish the quality was better. It's just not great. And this is going to have to be on a light pad. I'll use a light pad anyway. But this one, ooh. Yeah. Okay. It is what it is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and grab the last few we have for this video. And we'll keep it moving. Okay, not too many more in this unbox car, but let's see. Oh, yeah, well, okay, let's see. Oh, really? I have this, and I bought it twice. Was that on purpose? I don't know. This might be a giveaway, guys. This is a square. I wonder if the other one's around. I already have this. And it's a um, double-sided adhesive. I did this. this is, I actually showed this one of my earlier unboxings from Timo. I just didn't know I bought a second one. And I'm not sure if this... Now, this one is a square. This one is a square. I love this painting. I really, really do. I just don't know if um, the one that I have is also a square. Maybe I have a round and I bought a square. Maybe I bought two squares. I don't know. Let's see if we can pull this down a little. I don't mind the D the uh, DSA. Oh, let's see. No, 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 no. Those are just wrinkles. Those are not rivers. You just have to treat it a little bit differently. The stick is superior to port glue, in my opinion. But it does come with its um, issues. Yeah, and I do smell it. But that is the painting. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I don't know if it's really going to behoove me to lift it from the edge other than to release the tension. But I'm going to do that anyway. Oh, oh fudge. Okay. Um... Yeah, I have something handy. And there is 
the bottom. And I'm not standing up, guys, so I'm just hoping that um, I'm doing a decent job of getting this in the camera for you. So let's go ahead and I happen to have a piece of parchment. baking parchment I'm just gonna give it a little patch here okay that'll do until I get around to it but yeah so let me just show you the The thumbnail again. I really like this image. Really like. And you can see up close. It is quite readable. And again. I don't shy away from the double stick. Adhesive. It'll work. And if you've never done double stick adhesive. Give it a try. Um, they're not. As easy to find. As they used to be. Or maybe they are and they're just putting that clear film on top and you have to kind of deduce. But they don't tell you in advance what you're buying. And I actually put that one away without pausing the video. So we're just going to keep it moving. And get into this next one. Okay. Oh no. I am not crazy about this particular painting, and I, again, did not know I purchased it twice. Okay, I'm not going to go through this one. I have done this one on a previous haul, and I did not know I have another one. So, if you're interested in this, and you want this canvas, it's a 40 by 80, let me know via email. We'll call it, um, what do we call this? The, the mime. M-I-M-E. He looks like a mime. With the white face. The mime clown. 40 by 80 round. Yeah, I'm not going to pull this one up. I have this. I don't know why I have two. And I am not keeping it. So, I can either send it back. Or if somebody's interested. And wants this. Let me know via email, sharingourshine at yahoo.com. Hang on for me to grab the next one. Okay, so this is, we've got this one and then one more. And that'll be the full unboxing from this particular load. And something fell out. Oh, it was that. I didn't have to bend down to actually get it. Okay, let's see what this is. This is a 40 by 70. And I, this is an older purchase, Timo. And I'm staying away from the larger canvases of recent times. This is 26 colors. It is alpha. There's a little numeric and symbols. Oh, it's a sh message in a bottle. Ship in a bottle. I like it. It is in baggies. I like this, despite the fact that I'm shying away from these larger paintings because I have way too many. I do like this. This one I'm going to have to do sideways because you guys just aren't going to see it. Okay, let me see if I can pick it up and hold it at an angle. Ship in a bottle. 40 by 70. It is, let me make sure... Yeah, that is around. I'll show you the colors in just a minute. I can already tell you. Um, this one's a keeper for me. It's a little bit different. It gives me that piratey, high seas, sailing, water, um, vibe, all of those things. I don't know how I would bling this up or change it out. That'll take a deja vu video 
for me to kind of think through it. Even though ideas are coming into my head right now. Yeah, I like this. Let's see the colors. Let me let me do it sideways because it is a long one. And how many colors did I? Twenty six colors. Forty by seventy. Brown. Here are the colors. Here are the colors. Blues, greens, neutrals. Yeah, nothing too surprising. Nothing too surprising. Okay, I am happy with that. Uh, let's see how readable. Um, this is going to definitely need a light pad. That's hard for me to read. Um, no, with a light pad, yeah. I don't see anything. Oh, those M's. What is that? Is that a G? That G is really hard to read. And the M's have the same background color as the G. There's the M, uh, number 7. There's the M on number 7. And the G is number 18. They're right next to each other, right in here. But all in all, it is readable. Yeah, I'd have to be in the right frame of mind to do this. And this one won't be soon. This almost feels like I'd want to do it in winter. I don't know why, but... But yeah, but I do like it. Does this going to be a keeper for me? This will have to go into my A2 book. Um, but I like it. So it's a keeper. Okay, I've got one more. And we'll wrap this part up. Hang on. Okay, this is the last one for this particular part one. This is a 40 by 50. Uh, kind of don't remember it. I like it. And I don't know where this one came from, but maybe that last one. The 40 by 70 one. Uh, 40 by 50, 23 colors. It's all alpha. It looks pretty monochrome. She looks like she's a creepy girl. And I like the rendering on it. And it's all about the train, you know, this. It's all about the train game. 40 by 50, there's a skull right here. She kind of looks like a little bit of a badass. Look at these scarring. Um... I'm kind of liking it. It's generally not my go-to. The creepy. The scary. But there is something about her. I like the eyes. I like the scarring on that. She's very edgy. She has a skull. She's kind of monochrome. The whole monochrome thing going on. She's not overly large. She's only a 40 by 50. So, you know, you put couple of weeks in. You've got yourself a painting for your portfolio. And she's different. She's, she's outside my usual comfort zone, to be sure. And I like the fact I've been trying to get to this monochrome business. Let's see. Oh, stick is really good. Let's take a look at the colors. Ooh, love that. Lavender, pink, purple. Nice color palette. I, I, yeah. I like the color palette. Blues and purples and grays. Some neutrals. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, the combination of... A little bit outside of my comfort zone for the creepy crawlies of it all. But she's just a little bit different. She's just a little bit of an edge with some little creep. Those two ponytails in her hair? I think that's a ponytail. She's not 
you know, too scary other than those scarring on her face. N nice eyes. I like the way her eyes are kind of kind of dark. Looks like she's wearing some rings. She's a little half glove, kind of like, you know, kind of mine. What is that on my glove? I don't know. Um, little skull right there. It's not too in your face. It's just there. Is that on a sleeve? Is that her arm? I'm not sure. But I like this one. Maybe this is the chills and, uh, chills and drills. Or drills and chills type of entry. Uh, for this fall. I don't know. But I like her. Good stick. She's readable. Not too many colors. Train game going on. I like the color palette. This is a keeper for me. And I think that wraps up for this session. Okay, I have, uh, I'm going to keep this train going. Uh, this was boxcar or unboxcar number one. I'm going to head on to boxcar number two. And we will have a part two to this. So I will release these videos in order. Um, I don't know that they'll all be on the same day. Probably not. But, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just keep this train going. And hopefully you guys will join me in um, Unbox Card number two or part two of this series, Timu Train. And I hope that you do. If you're going to end it here, well, thank you for joining me. Again, thank you for your support. Continue sharing your shine with others and allow them to share their shine back with you. So I will hopefully see you in the next one. And until we do that and we get together again continue taking good care of yourself let's go on to the next one see you there